in an article condemning government's weak response to the ISIS rampage in Iraq. The British politician of faith, Lord David Alton, wrote, We always say never again, but in Mosul and Nineveh, it's never again all over again. With this searing indictment in mind, I ask people of faith who have worked to protect religious minorities for their thoughts about the world's recurring failure to prevent genocide. Father Elias Mallon of the Catholic Near East Welfare Association finds it a challenge to draw attention to the communities of faith he studies. The, uh, uh, the Western uh, attention span is not great. And so things are not good in Egypt, but like Egypt too, you know, uh, uh, even we go back and forth between paying attention to Gaza and paying attention to north, uh, northwestern uh, Iraq. And then there's also just people get tired, which I'm not condoning that, but I understand that. People get tired of hearing nothing but bad news coming out from a part of the world that just seems to do nothing but cause trouble. Rabbi Arthur Schneier, himself a survivor of the Holocaust, has worked with several of our presidents for the cause of international peace and tolerance. You cannot change yesterday. Uh, you live with the present. Do not become paralyzed by the past. But we have the power to shape the future for our children and children's children. And as a Holocaust survivor, one important lesson. Take the words of tyrants seriously. They mean what they say. Somehow, the West and democracies, uh, and to some degree, uh, we're very naive. We, 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 we don't believe that that kind of evil exists in our midst. Though Rabbi Schneier has worked closely with world leaders, he also sees limits to their power. Governments have to take strong action. The international community has to take strong action. But unfortunately, governments have been weakened. And uh, it takes more than governments. People of faith have a, an obligation to stand up to defend the rights of people uh, of goodwill of other faiths. And there's a certain self-interest to that too, you know, uh, uh, because it, the tables can turn easily enough. In this report, we've only scratched the surface. Next week, we'll hear more from Rabbi Schneier and Father Elias about the role people of faith have in peacefully fighting against today's wars on religious minorities. I'm Conrad Aderer for Currents.